All right, uh, Uato Scotty here. Just working on this uh, 88 wave jammer. The problem with this thing is that it does not seem to want to. It's acting like it's got a weak battery, but even if I put a new battery in there, it still doesn't want to start. So it's either the starter motor or the solenoid. What I'm doing right now is checking the solenoid. I've just got the. Uh, the uh, this box, watertight box. This is the uh, voltage regulator right on the side here. This is our solenoid in here. I'm glad I took this apart because this looks like it has been worked on at one point and it's pretty corroded. So I'm thinking maybe that might be the problem. I'm verified that the Solenoid does actually work. This is the connector here that goes up to the handlebars up to the start button. So when I apply power to let's see if I can do this with one hand. Oh, here I'll put the camera down for a sec. I'm just using my uh, power supply here. When I it's hard to do this with with one hand with the camera in one hand, but. Put power to this. Come on. There we go. You can hear the uh, solenoid engaging. So I know that uh, the solenoid's good. And it's kind of intermittent. Like sometimes it'll, you can get the, uh, motor to turn over and sometimes not and it doesn't matter what what type of battery is in there so I really think it's because of this corrosion here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen this off and this is actually going directly to the starter motor this goes to your positive oh, do I got that right uh, and one of these goes to the battery and then ah now it's this one that goes to the actual starter motor. This one goes to the battery. That makes sense because then this runs everything else. Um, oh, and then this is fusible. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, because there's a fuse on there. So, okay. So, um, I think, yeah, what I'll do is uh, I'll verify whether or not this, it's the starter motor by hooking a battery up directly to this and the negative battery terminal that should be a direct connection to the starter motor so we can we can uh, hook a battery directly there and we'll see if the motor turns over and if it does turn over then we've isolated the problem we will use one of these batteries uh, no these are good so some jumpers and jump that over there we'll see how this goes hooked straight on to the starter solenoid and the other jumper is hooked on to the negative battery terminal so direct connection to the starter I'm just going on a battery here so this will tell us if the starter motor is good And we know we got a good starter. I really think it's just this bad connection here. These guys. Oh, let me see if I can go catch them. All right. So what we'll do now. Let's see if we can get this guy out of here. Well, try and clean up that terminal there and see if we can get see if we can do start it with the actual starting uh, starting switch okay well I've replaced this 
connector here with a real nice heavy duty automotive connector. But as you notice the solenoid is no longer there. I've removed it and there's some very corroded grounding post here as well. But I've removed it. Here it is. And confirm that it is malfunctioning. It is not working properly. So I've just got the continuity tester here. And as you can see Continuity. Got this hooked up to my power supply. You can hear it clicking, but it's not making connect contact inside. So let's check it out. I clicked on when I put the leads across it. I got nothing. So it is not not working properly. Yeah, I just happen to have a whole extra CDI electrical box and I've got a another solenoid here right here which is the exact same as this this is engines from a wave runner 500 exact same year so it's all the exact same guts so I'm gonna swap these out and that should fix the problem this is a Hitachi Hitachi A104 136 well, that is no good switch the solenoids and uh, hopefully hook everything back up and I'm uh, anticipating that it will start up just just nicely okay I've now changed out this solenoid super super easy super easy if you're wondering this box here is your CDI and there's your ignition coil right there everything should work now I uh, should have these grounded, not lying on the gas tank. That's a silly, silly, silly thing. Uh, Alright, um, let's hook this up to a battery and see if, uh, see if she works. Good strong battery on there. Get this motor turning. Um, okay, so that fixes that problem. So I would imagine if I had a real nice connection here that a good strong battery that that would work a lot a whole lot better. Um. So maybe, maybe I gotta get a, a new battery now, get a new battery, put the battery in and, and hopefully this should be good to, good to go. And then we gotta work on the pump a little bit. This is, I'm still not sure what we're gonna do about this pump, but we'll, uh, we'll deal with that separately. Yeah. Okay, all right, that's it for part one of this video. Got uh, diagnosed the problem, why it wasn't starting. Bad starter solenoid. So to fix that problem, we gotta get a fresh battery in here, tire all down, and yeah, should be, uh, see if we can get it running.